and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Teamer, Hydra, so this is our uh, kind of our final day here of War of the Spark standard because we got the set review for Corset 2020 tomorrow. We're doing the sub battle stream on Saturday and then Sunday and Monday I'll be taking the two days off before Corset 2020 comes out on Tuesday and I'll be having a long 12 hour stream then and I'll be streaming uh, every day for you know a few weeks, you know two, three weeks before taking another off day uh, with a new set coming out. So we're going through some of our favorite decks from the past format. Uh, kind of the last ones here that we really wanted to play again on the last day. And so far, so good. Mardu Midrange and Band Arcbow, both with the good records, 3-2 and 4-1. We'll take both of those. Uh, we are getting trying to get back up into that top 1,000 in ranked uh, in Mythic. Uh, we started the day at 93%, and we're up to like having a number, like number 1,100 or something. So we'll see if Team or Hydra here and... Grixis control can get us through the finish line. Um, this deck's a whole lot of fun to play. You know, like we're playing big creatures, specifically Bioessence Hydra, because this card is just awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's just, you know, it's basically a, a five mana 2020 trampler. And 2020s are really big. And that's why we're playing this card. And then, of course, we got all these cool planeswalkers also the six of them the Domrys, the Kiora, the Tamiyo, the Nissa, the Sarkin. So we just got big creatures and planeswalkers. So it's a pretty sweet deck here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and give it a try. Let's go and play some Teamer Hydra. All right, switch our decks. Teamer Hydra. So our goal is to get 3-2. Get, get that 3-2 record and keep ranking up. We're going to be playing five matches here with the deck, as you can see with the other ones. We're playing five matches with each deck today. So 20 matches during the stream today. That's a lot of magic. And we've got a really good opener here. Oh, I should have led with Stomping Ground, but oh well. Ooh. Let's get this thing in. Yeah, rotation always happens when the fall set is released. So after 2020, there will be, like, whatever sets in the fall, um, it'll be a big set. They haven't announced anything about that set yet. It'll be, you know, like, basically a year after Guilds of Ravnica. Whenever Guilds of Ravnica entered the format, there was a rotation also. And so it's when, when that set enters, there's rotation. Um, so we can, uh, we can get Domri in play, and then add red, add red, and coil this. Get that thing out of here. So Hydra next turn. If they don't kill a Planeswalker, we're looking at... 17 haste. Wow. Wow, that's a killer. They had they actually had the elder spell main deck there. Oh, that's a killer. You're going to have a 17 17 haste creature coming in next turn. And then the bell haunt to discard. Oh my gosh. That could not go any worse than what it just did. Yeah, Deckmaster's kind of busted at the moment. Wow, that was looking... Great for us until that Elder Spell. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. 
Yeah, set reviews at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, it, it'll take a while because we're going to be talking about all the cards. That's why I'm starting the stream early tomorrow um, to at 1 instead of at 3. And yeah, I'll be posting those up on YouTube afterwards also. We'll be breaking them down by color. I'm known for my excellent timing. Here we go. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate turn of events for us there. That elder spell still. <laughs> that one still. Your queen necromancer has a nice ring to it. This looks like a fun new toy. Let's just have a look, see, shall we? Hoping to find Krasis and Bioess and Hydra. Especially Krasis, but yeah, I mean Liliana and five cards in hand were dead. I mean like the the elders the elder spell really killed us this game. Sorry, I'm late. Keep up the pace. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want. All right, we're not beating the Liliana to fairy combo here. All right, bunch of daredevils. So we can steal their elder spell. Use it against them. Carny Tees and Ugins. All right, so against. Do I want to keep this other little Domri in? I'm going to play a couple shocks. So basically, the, the Bio Essence Hydras are like awesome when you have a bunch of Planeswalkers in play, but they do, they do a good job, of course, of killing our Planeswalkers. So trimming those for Carnage Tyrant and Ugin. Shock can kill Hero Precinct one still, or just kill like their their Teferi's when they minus. They play Teferi minus, then Shock finishes it off. Just 
Let's just play one shock. Get this other keyword back in here. I don't have like lots of lands, and so bringing in six drops. I think I still want some of the mana planeswalkers there with the Kioras. Dang. If this hand just draws lands, it's awesome. I think that's too risky. They they thought raise your away that Kiora, then like that other hand is just sitting there. With nothing to do for a while. I don't know if I like our chances too much with the hero right away. We'll see if Phoenix can outrace hero. It's time to start drawing Hydroid Crasises. We got four of them in the deck. I want to draw those. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Carnage Tyrant or Ugin either. Nyssa. Tamio. Nithi draw cards that cost more than two mana. We didn't do a very good job with that last game. So I'm not I'm not hasting here because because of like them being able to have a, a good amount of tokens and everything. I want to have a larger um I want to have the larger one to make it harder for them to block. Normally if the battlefield's clear, you know, like you know, hasting's pretty good, but the other problem with hasting a, a spellbreaker against Esper though, of course, is Basilica Bell Hunt, if they just have a bell hunt just shuts down your 3-3 completely. Alright, so they're stuck on lands. I have millions of lands. We could draw a Krasis right now. That'd be nice. Oh my gosh. Bleh. Besides this game, the climb's been going really good today. You know, 7-3 and three on the day. It's a very successful day. Make that seven and four. Yep, always land, never crisis. Oh, it doesn't have that much day, Karmic. It's all good. You don't need to be stressed about it. Life will be good whether you win or whether you lose. Even if you lose, your life's still good. Don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. You're in the high 400s right now? Awesome. You can probably just stay there if you would like and uh, probably finish the season in the top 1,000 or... Maybe not. I guess there's still two days left. Maybe. I think you can probably stop from there with two days left. 
But of course, you can always just check tomorrow and see what's up. So yeah, today's develop develop. I don't know. Today's arena update. Let me just say it like that. Today's arena update looked really cool with everything except for I didn't really like. I didn't really like how the new format that's going to be added, which is going to be called Historic, is still just starting with Exelon. I was kind of hoping for some more sets in it. I was hoping for some some more older sets coming to Arena. I was looking forward to that. So a little disappointed in that, but besides that, uh, everything else looked awesome pretty sweet I like the new uh, the mastery system thing looks really cool come on draw a planeswalker we need any planeswalker or crisis or just draw more lands and paradise druids we're really good at drawing lands and paradise druids and land war elves in the late game, it seems like. Our opponent still has seven cards in hand. Can I have one of those? It's not fair. You get a crisis? I want a crisis. Planeswalker. Ugh. More land. Yeah, so the arena extended. It's called Historic. They announced that today. And it's just going to be Ixalan forward, you know, starting whenever the fall set comes out. So it's basically just going to be the current standard that we're going to have with M20 plus the fall set. That's all it's going to be in there. My deck's not good at all against mass manipulation, and it looks like that's what my opponent is doing. Like that's that's a problem with BioS and Hydra, of course, is the steel stuff. It's something that I've struggled with before with the deck. The steel cards are are a nightmare. They said that they're likely like that they're gonna be they're most likely gonna be adding like the other sets like Amonkhet Alec Amonkhet block, Kaladesh block, stuff like that, but just not at this time. Like they're gonna start with just just Ixalan forward because they think that Ixalan forward's a healthy format. Behold, nature's true power. I guess I try to daredevil their steal things. I mean, I really need to have, like, a bunch of negates in here in this kind of matchup, to be honest. That's, like, what I need to add to the deck to to really have a better chance here is a bunch of negates. Can draw a single planeswalker that whole time. Hmm. I think we just kind of really try our our normal our normal deck and just try to run them over more. What we had there. Yeah, the ranked draft changes is very good. Because, yeah, now that whatever the current format is will always be ranked draft, plus then they'll have, like, the the throwback uh, format for ranked draft also. That's a very good change to have it. So they have two 
So you don't, like, if you're doing the rank drafts, you don't always have to be, like, switching with, like, random formats and everything. It's always, the current one's always available. I think that's a great change. All right, so we need to draw mana creatures or the three or four mana planeswalkers. Let's draw Kiora here. Come on, Kiora. Come on, Domri. Nissa. You cost too much. Need Kiora or Domri. Yeah, it's true the Carnage Tyrant can't get stolen, but Carnage Tyrant may be a little small, to be honest. Witness the ties that bind us all. So do I attack them? Or attack Nyssa? If I'm making a 10-10 here... Who am I attacking? We will prevail. The land shall conquer you. I'm going to go with Nyssa. Oh, I should have sent the crisis at Nyssa also. Yeah, because this doesn't actually kill Nessa. Alright, that was a bad attack. I did that too too fast. I should have sent the crisis there too. Alright, that's that's me frustrated with this matchup, just trying to get it over with and making too fast of an attack there. Yeah, that was a bad attack with the crisis. Not even gonna let them mass manipulate all my stuff. I don't want them to take my cards. Not even gonna let them have it. All right, not a great start for us here, but we can we can rally back. Judge, I don't understand your question. You said, are we getting animated little pets on the table as MTX? What is MTX? I know they're, they're going to have the animated little pets that sit over here on this thing. But I don't know what MTX is, to be honest. I'm 
microtransaction. Okay, I still don't understand that question. So are we getting them as microtransactions? I mean, are you asking, do you pay for them with gems? Is that what you're asking? Do you have to buy them? Okay. It From what it looks like, from what they were saying in there, it looks like it's going to be a reward for... No. Still haven't faced Mono Red that doesn't have Conclave Tribunal yet. Never faced Mono Red that without Conclave Tribunal. It's never happened. Anyway, from what it looks like, they're going to have... Um, the mastery thing, whatever that thing's called, like the the new mastery gameplay mode or whatever, that's where you earn those pets in them. Yeah, I, I never heard that MTX or microtransactions thing before. I never heard that reference. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. I don't remember the last time I beat Mono White. Maybe like oh for my last ten against Mono White. That's what I've been just thinking of. Like all week, every single time we've played against Mono White with any deck, we've just lost. Even like the band, that was our one loss with Ban Arcbo, like a deck that I think actually is good against Mono White. I don't know, Carnage Tyrant doesn't get Conclave Tribunaled. It's really, really big. This is kind of weird because like my best way of winning is probably Bio Essence Hydra. But if I'm cutting all these planeswalkers, then I can't really have Bio Essence Hydra. I kind of want to just cut the planeswalkers. I guess it's. I guess I'm just going to be relying on Krasis for the most part. Unfortunately, having the Krasis in your opener is not really exactly where you want them. You want, like, you know, your lands and your ramp and that kind of stuff, and then draw Krasis. Okay, good start. I was raised by wolves. Well, they might have also just been big dogs. 
I don't think Mono White's ever had a bad start. How does anybody ever beat this deck? I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. So I'll get Conclave Tribunaled. There's never been a mono white deck in history that hasn't had conclave tribunal in their opener at least not the one that i've ever played against They tap my crisis, I go down to one. Let's just eat the Dauntless Bodyguard. Three with Teamer Hydra. I don't remember the last time I've beaten Mono White or yeah, I've won a couple of games. Like I've had a, a couple game wins against it, but they just have two out of the th two of the three games like like that where they just play everything, Conclave Tribunal, my stuff, and then kill me. Had the dream hand of the turn three bio essence hydra but our opponent's playing red so our elf is dead so we're got turn four hydra looking like right now that's a little slow so do i want to lead with kiora so then i draw a card off of spellbreaker or we'll just get the spellbreaker down I'll just get the Spellbreaker down because they're going to be playing the Chandra. And so that means they can't attack. Well, I mean, I guess they get more mana with Steamkin. Yeah, Cody, I've had a lot of success with this deck. We've done a whole lot of winning with this deck, just not today. Probably like a week ago, if you would ask me, like this was the the deck that we were winning the most with. This was my uh, preferred deck that I was ranking up with. Just hasn't been our day today, you know. Like that's that's the kind of stuff that that happens from time to time. You don't always 
Don't always have everything. So. Nature flows with vigor. Sometimes your opponents just have awesome, awesome hands and everything. That's what's kind of happened here. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. You know the mono white opponent, the Esper opponent. Like that game one against Esper was really, really unfortunate. In particular. Watch it burn. Good hand, GG. Not sure if I can hit enough land drops without the mana creatures. But I certainly don't want These Paradise Druids getting Chain World and not really even the Land World Elves. I'm just going to hope that we kind of draw a good amount of lands. Have our We just brought in a bunch of removal spells that kind of re are replacing our mana creatures for our early things. You know, we just brought in a whole bunch of Shocks and Coils for our early turns and then, you know, still have like the top end part. What cards are you most excited to leave rotation in the fall? Uh, definitely Teferi Hero Dominaria is number one. I'm not really sure what number two would be. That's really the one. A lot of the other cards from Ixalan block and Dominaria and M M19 and everything. I, I like a lot of the other cards. All right, so you know we're smashing here. They're down to eight. We're just trying to race. Yeah, I won't be too sad with Ascanta gone. Like that's that's a good one. like Ascanta is really good. Uh, that's that's a good one. Um,
you gonna be killing me? If I attack with Ripjaw here. I guess it's just not really right to attack when I have the crises. Yeah, explore package rotating. It's not a bad thing either. That's that's seen a whole lot of play. I'm still much higher on wanting to ferry to rotate. That's just so much higher for me than the explore package. Hey Tony, thanks so much for watching the stream and or thanks for joining the stream. There we go. And glad you're enjoying the content and everything there. All right, time to attack. Hydra. Alright, hopefully they don't kill us. Yay. We didn't die. Hasty Hydras. Yeah, so it, it's a 4-4 four, four plus it gets however many Planeswalker counters, you loyalty counters you have, it gains that many counters as well. So we had a Domri that was at 7 loyalty whenever we played it, so it gets 7 counters. So yeah, it was an 11-11. <laughs> so yeah, 5 mana, 11-11 haste trample. It's pretty big. Alright, let's draw lands deck. You can do it. Or draw lava coils. The haste Viachino Pyromancer. Come in, do its two damage. It's unblockable haste. So just got those other two cards we don't know about. Mm. Or we're just <clears throat> today's just not our day. We're just not gonna draw lands. Get to bronze on. Ooh, wow. They whiffed on frenzy, so we know their top cards will land. No, they're drawing a land here. Those are the last two cards. Jeez. So I'm definitely not shocking in, so it's either playing Phoenix or Spellbreaker. I think it's more likely that they have <clears throat> a three damage burn spell that will kill the Phoenix. There. 
Hey, RMW Waffle. Welcome. They have their own Phoenix. Phoenix battles. Stop. No. You think I'm a crazy beast? What do you see? They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Atlas with a Twitch Prime sub also. Thanks for that support, Atlas. Y'all are awesome. Thank you very much. It's to five subs on the day. What? Can't finish your job? And of course, this one's over. Unless we draw Thrashing Brontodon to blow up the Frenzy. Deserves its demise. Spectre, thank you so much. There. You are a rock star as well, man. Y'all are awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, our options aren't very good. our sixth sub of the day. That's lethal in attack there. Loku, did you see that Steamkin that game add mana? You're saying that Steamkin got so much value that Steamkin was never activated that game. So I don't I don't know what value that Steamkin did. It didn't it wasn't activated, it didn't attack. I mean until the last turn. I mean the last turn, I mean the game's over already, but you know if they I don't even know if they actually activated it there the last turn even. Yeah, it was just that was just them drawing the frenzy. Yeah, we we had the we're able to destroy one frenzy, but two is too many. He 
You've got to be kidding me. We just can't catch a break. Spell Pierce? Well, there's no... No Jade Light. I'm actually pretty surprised. Not that. Oh, it's just going to be next turn. It'll be Jade Light. Great. Great. Uh, let's, let's undo. I'll play you. No, I haven't looked at the cards thinking of new archetypes or anything for M20. Yep. We'll be kind of doing that tomorrow during the... During our set review stream. Spectre said, just started playing MTG a few months ago. Your streams have really helped me learn the game and build decks. Happy to support. Well, thanks very much, Spectre. Glad glad to help. I'm and uh, is hope you're really enjoying Magic. All right, any Planeswalker will do. Any Planeswalker will do. Not for you, opponent. Like talking about for me. About to seek and find. They only have one Black Source right now. They're saying Command the Dread Horde. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Really? They're going down to four lands? They got it. They got to have another land in hand, then, right? Yeah. So I could just go with a two-two crisis, trying to draw a a three or four mana planeswalker. Nah. Would have been Lava Coil. That would not have been a bad one. No one asked for your input. Next turn, I'm going to start attacking them. I want them not to be able to just minus and grab Jade Light Ranger with the two Wild Gross there. To the library. Yeah, I think our deck needs some counter magic. That's what I need. Hmm. Coils are great on Wild Growth Walker immediately, but of course once they play a Jade Light, then the coils are dead. So that's kind of tough. The Tamiyo didn't have three loyalty that last turn, but yeah, they. I was a little surprised they didn't just kill the Krasis, yeah, with the uh, Vraska. I 
No sideboarding. No, Lazatep plating is just a much worse negate. You can't counter Command the Dreadhorde with Lazatep plating. You can't counter Mass Manipulation with that. Like, I mean, I guess you, you Mass Manipulation, actually you can, never mind. Mass Manipulation does get countered by Lazatep plating. Yes. But usually with your negates, besides, besides Command the Dreadhorde, you know, you want to be countering like the Planeswalkers. These Hydras are going to be big. Hmm. Well, a little unfortunate here, because I can't really play Tamiyo now. Because they just kill Tamiyo. Oh, that's a great draw. That's a good draw. Something to do before the height the bioessence hydra. Uh, hostage taker. That is rude. Oh, I'm just dead. Just sack, I'm just dead. I was gonna try to kill him the next turn, try to play double Tamiyo and kill him. But I'm just dead. Should have played Nissa the turn when I played Hydra. Should have just led with Nissa. Alright, so they're playing Hostage Taker. That's we gotta coil that thing. Do we? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take out two Spellbreakers. All right, come on, Planeswalkers. Glad I didn't trim any Planeswalkers right now. Glad we trimmed the Spellbreakers. There we go. We are doing it. Bet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. All right, we're doing it. Should I pay two life to get steam vents out there? Nah. Dropped, ripples and grows. Turn three. Ten 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 trampler that ETB draws a card. Boo. Dice to removal though. <laughs> Leave my squids alone. Let's get moving. Well, we got punished for not shocking last turn. If we would have shocked last turn, Kiora would have one more loyalty. Right now. Every story is an opportunity for new data. So we want another Hydra, Krasis, Lava Coil, really just, just draw a spell. 
That's a spell. That'll do. That will do. Aggression is noted. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. I think you will find my notes helpful. Stealing Phoenix. Let me aid your research. No tail should be discarded. Good draw. Did you just call me Scrolly? Oh, you'll pay for that. Give me my Phoenix back. My wild beasts are bringing your comeuppings. Biocider is so big. It's so silly how big this thing is. They're just dead. They need to take up their Tamiyo and look for something else. They're just dead. We gotta put another six, seven, eight. There's gonna be a 22, 22 neck, or 22, 23. Or sorry, 22, 21. There's gonna be a 22, 21. Trampler the next turn. Finally. Some things went our way. And we got the win. All right, unfortunately, kind of a brutal showing there for Teamer Hydra. I feel like we probably just need negates. You know, like we moved to I moved away from counter magic because of Little Teferi. And honestly, I think that that's, that's hurt our deck uh, moving away from the counter magic. Um, there's, there's just other matchups that don't have Little Teferi, like the mass manipulation decks and so on, that you just really need that. And, um, and so, yeah, we need some negates in here. And I, so I think that just kind of comes in for definitely one daredevil debating about the other daredevil also no, I'll probably keep two daredevils and then um, I don't think we really need the rib jaw and then it's just do we want to get rid of a carnage tyrant or an Ugin probably carnage tyrant Carnage Tyrant wasn't, like, that impressive for us. I mean, it's really the best against Esper, right? Um, maybe we just don't play Ugin. Actually, maybe just play Carnage Tyrants. Because Carnage Tyrant is, is a card, you know, that we get to find with Domri. Draws us a card off QRL, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, just get, getting the gates back in there. All right, so that's Teamer, Hydra. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you still enjoyed it uh, there. Even though we went 1-4, that's okay. That happens. Uh, our other decks were helping us out. So, um, you know, we're still over 500 for the day. We're going to need Crixus Control to help us finish out the day strong. Um, so, yeah, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. That's it here for Team or Hydra. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.